Hello and welcome. I'm uh, Sanjay Chaturvedi. Today is one of the uh, very burning topic I'm going to uh, talk about is when a buyer or home buyer gives an earnest money, a token or a advance or uh, you can say a um, booking amount to a developer builder where to the book a uh, apartment and uh, then suppose for whatever reason whether it is financial constraint or the builder has not uh, come up with the uh, you know or uh, any condition which was a at the time of taking the booking the builder has not actually uh, complied with then uh, can a buyer uh, uh, ask for the refund and if suppose the refund is to be made then the developer got any right to forfeit that particular amount or no because many a times in that allotment letter or in agreement for sale or maybe in the receipt or maybe in application form the developer usually write that we are going to forfeit your earnest money maybe 10 percent of the purchase consideration so for example suppose it is one crore rupees in your flat and the 10 percent being the 10 per 10 lakh rupees suppose you have paid some say five lakh rupees or six lakh rupees or whatever uh, for uh, uh, booking your uh, apartment so at the time of forfeiture the developer or the builder will say that I need to forfeit that 10 percent of the purchase consideration so it comes to 10 percent usually it is given to understand that sir 10 percent you know it's like that way and you presume that suppose if I paid 5 lakh rupees so the maximum loss would be 50,000 rupees from the uh, token uh, they are going to deduct 10 percent so no be, uh, read between the lines it is 10 percent of the purchase consideration now this dispute had come uh, to Marera and the Marera I am going to just uh, read for you some uh, very uh, landmark judgment of the appellate tribunal Maharashtra appellate tribunal Maharashtra real estate appellate tribunal and in the matter of Rekha Navnani versus Omkar Ventures Private Limited, where the appeal number uh, 80, uh, the appeal number is 21465, the fact of the case was that the dispute concerned the reservation of an apartment in the <coughs> uh, respondent's project in Andheri, Mumbai. And while booking the flight at an exhibition, the channel partner assured. Uh, 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 that uh, if suppose uh, you uh, are ineligible for taking a home loan or finance then I am going to return your money and she did actually she was ineligible and then uh, the complainant the the appellant uh, received a letter of allotment from the respondent that is from the Umkar on December 5th 2017 after which the respondent sent demand notices for the remaining amount due on the property since the appellant was unable to obtain a loan and uh, for whatever reason maybe it is financial loss or maybe they are not uh, happy with the uh, project or there may be some deviation from the promise or whatsoever the respondent cancelled the uh, reservation and reimbursed the entire money that is what the complainant wanted despite many uh, you know uh, reminders what they did was they repaid 1 lakh rupees and 6 lakh 95,000 rupees were forfeited. Then they were citing various uh, documentations and you know in the uh, uh, one of the uh, respondent argued that even though respondent was entitled for forfeiture of 10% amount of the consideration price of the book flat as per the clause 3, 1, something, something of the allotment letter. The respondent only forfeited 5% of the appellant had paid only 5% amount. So just for a major amount, uh, 1 lakh rupees was refunded. That means 10% was to be uh, forfeited. But they have deducted 5% and they have uh, given 1 lakh rupees. The matter went in court. Marera said, uh, uh, Marera actually disagreed with the appellant's argument, dismissed the case and stating that the appellant was not entitled to uh, any refund under section 18 of the RERA Act because there was no agreement of sale between the parties and appellate filed an appeal in the Mar Appellate Tribunal and the appellate 
tribunal reversed the order and they said that while uh, dealing with the issue of the appellate tribunal said with the issue that the whether the appellant is entitled for refund of the paid amount uh, along with the interest and they have held that in the terms prescribed by the respondent in this allotment letter and application form are not only in derogation of the provision of RERA Act and rules framed and there and there, but are also one-sided, ambiguous and inequitable. The um, Honorable Tribunal further held that the RERA Act is a welfare legislative enacted to safeguard the interest of the allottees and as such respondent cannot be allowed to act against the RERA Act for form formulating formats which are one-sided, ambiguous and inequitable. And the Mar Marera uh, Appellate Tribunal allowed uh, the appeal and asked the respondent to refund the entire amount along with the interest. Thank you very much.